So what brings you in today, bro? Um, kind of got messed up last time I got a haircut. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to you? Uh, they ruined my life. They didn't even ask for me to design in the back. They just, <laughs> they just gave you a design? Crazy, yeah. What else happened that day, bro? Oh, honestly, uh, my girlfriend broke on me that day, too. <laughs> no fucking way. To be honest, bro, I lost my job at the <laughs> Down here. Holy shit, bro. All in one fucking day? All in one day. So, what's up, bro? What's the move now? I'm trying to, you know, look better. Got, got things to do. Got to fight for a job now. So, honestly, just fix me up. You're going to get a new girl after this cut? For sure, for sure. I'm going to get you, all right, bro? Yes, Let's get it. <laughs> that was funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna start first by going in with my trimmer. Right here at the Temple Peak area, we're gonna do a drop fade. We're gonna keep the length on top. So to make sure everything, both sides are even. Look at your client from the front. I'm gonna go in from the other side. So once we have that guideline right here, I'm gonna go in in the back of his occipital one is right here. I'm gonna go about a finger below over here and start matching it. All we gotta do now it just match both sides. You can see it's like connecting. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach the 1.5 guard and I'm gonna go two fingers and follow this whole line like this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I have the one and a half right here and all of this bulk on top. I'm gonna blend this last. So we're just gonna work on this bottom portion right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the bulk really quick. All right, so we have removed the bulk with my Babyliss shaver. I'm gonna grab the shaver like this to have more control. And I'm gonna leave about half of this finger. Touch your head real quick. You guys see, as I go up, I'm gonna flick up. Right here. And as I get closer to that half of finger, I'm gonna start relieving some of the pressure. And that room that I leave right there, we're gonna just rub the trimmer into that bald stubble. Gently just push the line up a tiny bit. So now with that, that we're done with that, I'm gonna start with my half guard. I'm gonna split this in half. So we're gonna work on the first guideline. We're just gonna work from here all the way to here. We're gonna start with the lever open and almost hit this guideline all the way through because we are working with that lever open, but we don't wanna go, we are working with that half guard closed. So now I'm gonna go middle. We're going midway point. Just gently just rubbing that guideline. 
Then I'm gonna go almost all the way closed, just quarter closed. Just playing it safe. You guys can see how everything's nicely blending before I close it all the way. It's all the way closed now. And I'm just working above the ear. A lot of the times we, we make a mistake by going too fast and we want to work the whole head. I prefer to work in sections and zones. Kind of like pretend that it's a, you're working on a, a taper on the side and then now you're working on a taper on the back side. So complete four zones, it makes a fade. I'm gonna repeat the process in the back side. Start with the lever open. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, we have the 1.5 guard guideline to work with. I'm gonna soften it with the one guard. Just gently going with the lever closed here in the beginning. I wanna see what happens with the lever closed because his hair is a little lighter. And with this, I would probably just maybe go a quarter closed and start Gently opening it little by little and just flicking up and seeing what the hair does. So sometimes you guys don't have to be that systematic in terms of opening and closing. Just get a, ta get a taste of what the hair does with certain guards. Right, so you guys might think that this is all the way blended, but I still wanna, my other clipper died. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 0.5 guard and go middle to closed. And we're just gonna play around with the lever. I'm going about, I'd like to say, almost a quarter in. We're not going halfway. I'm just flicking up a quarter in and then flicking up with the, with the, with the clipper. I want to see what the hair does. I'm going to close it to the middle waypoint. And I'm still kind of testing what, what it does. And I'm going to close it. It's gonna come out so fire, bro. So fire. All right, so we have completed the rough draft of our first part of our fade, which is the base. Now we're gonna work on the darkness of the fade, which is probably the most important part. So we're gonna go in with the three guard and I'm gonna flick up from right here, putting his ear down very gently. I wanna see what the hair does. So the next thing, we're just working on this, the three guard. I'm gonna go with the open lever position with the 1.5, starting here. I wanna see what the hair does. We're not going all the way up. We're just using the corners. I'm gonna close it midway. Close it all the way now. Repeat the same thing in the back.
next thing, I'm gonna go in with my thinning shears. I wanna be very careful because his hair is a little thinner. I'm gonna use a thicker part. So what I like doing for the lineup, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna try to keep it as natural as possible. And I like lining up the vertical line bars first before I go in the center. I'm gonna gently tap his hairline. What's going on YouTube? Today I just finished doing this drop fade with no hooks. We didn't cut anything off the top. He has about an eight on top. If you guys enjoyed the content, let me know down below. Subscribe for more videos. I do have an academy where I teach barbers how to make more money. More specifically, how to cut, create, and scale. If you guys are interested, it's called the School of Barbering. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description where you guys will be able to find all the info there. We teach barbers how to make videos, how to scale, how to market, how to raise their prices. We have results in there, real results of barbers making over 10K a month. If you guys are interested, click the link. And if you guys are a little skeptical, leave a comment down below and I'll give you guys more information. But either way, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the love and I'll see you guys next week for more content. Peace.